everybody. Welcome back to Unbelievable English. I'm Adam, and today we're going to talk about Gizmos. Gizmos is from Phil Walker Harding, and it's produced by Simon Games. Now, Gizmos is a really cool science fair game. We're going to be building things. We're going to be building Gizmos. We're going to be making Gizmos that are going to help us chain our actions to make bigger and bigger and bigger things happen over the course of the game. So let's go check out what it looks like. We'll look at how to set it up and then we'll learn how to play Gizmos. All right, guys, so let's set up Gizmos. So to start, everybody's gonna get a dashboard. And this dashboard is where we're going to be organizing our Gizmos, keeping track of what we've made and making sure that we're doing the right things. It gives us our instructions for how to play on here. So everybody gets a, get a dashboard and everybody gets a level zero gizmo. Everybody starts the game with one gizmo. And this gizmo does something very specific. When you reserve a card, which means you're not buying it yet, but you're going to soon. When you reserve a card, you can take a card from the basket and we'll explain all of that later. But you get a, a gizmo card, you get your dashboard, and you get an energy ring. This is where you're gonna keep your energy. Every player gets all of that. And then we're gonna set up our cards. We've got our level one cards, our level two cards, and we're gonna do something special for our level three cards. We're only gonna use some of them. We're gonna remove 20 of them randomly from the game. Once we've done that, we can set up our screen. We're gonna be building a basket back here for all of our energy. So we've got our screen built and then we can put in our energy. These marbles are gonna act as energy for us. We have four different kinds of energy. We've got blue energy, yellow energy, red energy, and black energy. Once we've done that, and we have our extra ribbons ready to go, we're ready to play. We're going to deal out four level one cards. We're gonna deal out three level two cards. And we're gonna deal out two level three cards. Just like that. We're ready to go, guys. So, I'm playing with Goo Goo today, and I'm going to go first. Now, on your turn, our dashboard tells us what we can do. So, on my turn, I can file a card, which is reserving a card. We already talked about that a little bit. I can pick an energy from the row. I can build a gizmo by paying the amount of energy that it costs and then building it. Or I can research, which is to reach into the deck. I don't like any of these. I can look in the deck, look at a certain number of cards and choose one to either build or file, reserve. And those are my options. There are two other things here on this dashboard. There is my upgrade section which starts by telling me what I can do. So at the beginning of the game, I can keep five energy in my ring. No more than that. I can file one gizmo, one card for later, or I can search three cards from the top of the deck. Filing is reserving a card. And at the beginning of the game, I can only reserve one at a time. Later in the game, if I were to acquire a card like this one, I would be able to file and have two cards reserved. And I would be able to keep one extra energy. So I would be able to keep six energy in my ring. The icons in this game are really important. 
That's the only confusing part of the game. If you kind of learn the iconography, if you learn what all these little pictures mean, it makes it a lot easier. So let's take a look at one or two other cards and what they do. This is a really interesting card. Do you remember this picture? This is the same picture that we saw here for picking a new energy from the row. This card tells me that anytime I pick a black energy from the row, I can then reach in without looking and take one energy from the basket as well. So if I have this card and I take a black energy from here, then I get one more energy, but I can't choose the color. I just have to take one randomly. So let's see how this game plays a little bit. Let's, let's play a little bit. So I'm gonna go first. I'm over here, Gugu is over here. And I'm gonna start by reserving a card. And I'm gonna look, I'm gonna see what looks really good. I like the idea of having more stuff. So I'm gonna reserve this yellow upgrade card. Now, I haven't built it, so it's gonna go above my dashboard. It's not gonna go down here. It goes down here after I've built it. And I'll put it right under the upgrade section. You see the symbols match. But I haven't built it yet because I can't pay for it. I need to build it with one yellow energy. So I'm gonna reserve it. And then, because I reserved a card, because I filed the card, I get to reach into the basket without looking and take an energy. Mm. I didn't get the color I needed. I needed yellow, but I still have a red energy for later. And that's the end of my first turn. Now it'll be Gugu's turn. Oh, first we need to replace that card that we lost, that we used. And Gugu's gonna look at what's here. And Gugu really likes this card. This card shows that it's a card that is triggered, that's going to happen whenever we file. See the little file there? So when Gugu files, she'll be able to take one energy from the basket. She can't build it yet because she doesn't have any energy, but she's gonna reserve it. She's gonna put it above her dashboard and she's gonna reach in and she got what she needed. Now, she can't build it yet. She already took her action. Her action was reserving the card, filing the card. But next turn, she'll be able to build that gizmo. We'll replace the card. And all of a sudden, it's my turn again. Now, I have a red energy and I have a yellow card filed. I can only reserve one card at a time. So the only thing I can do now is buy a card or take an energy. Those are my only two options. I'm gonna build this red gizmo because this red gizmo tells me that every time I build, that's the wrench symbol, every time I build a yellow card, I'll get an extra ribbon, an extra point during the game. This is great because I have a yellow card waiting to be built. So I'm gonna build this gizmo. I'm gonna use my red energy and I'm gonna build this gizmo and it's gonna sit right where my build is on my dashboard, right where that wrench is. Now that is a gizmo that is active for me. We'll go back to Gugu. And Gugu can just build the thing that she reserved. So now whenever she files a card, she'll be able to pick an energy. That's really strong. So Gugu's gonna put that back. And we'll go back to my turn. Now, I would really like to build this. I can't file a card because I am maxed out. I can only file one and it's sitting right here. So I'm gonna go and I'm gonna see, and look at that. There's a yellow energy I can take. Boop. I'm gonna put that in my ring and that's the end of my turn. Gugu's turn. Gugu now wants to file a card. Gugu is going to file. Ooh, I know what Gugu's gonna do. Gugu is gonna file this card. 
This card says that on your turn, you can use one yellow energy as any other energy. It makes one yellow energy a wild energy on your turn. She's gonna file that. And because she is filed, now she can do two different things. First, she can pick a card from the basket without looking, or pick a card, pick an energy from the basket without looking. And then she can pick an energy from the row. So filing, which is only one action from now on for Gugu will be three actions. So she has a black, which is what she wanted. Maybe she'll take, there's lots of yellow out. Oh, but there's no yellow on the row. She'll take a red for later. And you can see how as we take actions, what we can do starts to expand with each turn that we take and each gizmo that we build. That's basically how you play this game, guys. At the end of the game, we're gonna score based on the ribbons we get for our gizmos and the ribbons we get from playing the game. We're gonna total up all that, we're gonna add it all together, and whoever has the most is the winner. Now, the game is going to end when somebody builds their 15th gizmo. Once you build number 15, we finish that round, and we count up our points. All right, guys, thank you for being here with me at Unbelievable English. I hope you get to enjoy this game. I'll see you soon. Bye.